Vody, 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 Vody Bakum, Vody Bakum. All you hear is Vody Bakum. Let me tell you the truth about Vody Bakum. When you tune into YouTube, one thing you are definitely going to notice is how often videos are put out to discuss Vody Bakum. Vody Bakum this, Vody Bakum that. All of the people that praise him and then the few that who also, um, who are his detractors. But most of you are gonna see his, his uh, fans, people who, who, who really like Vody Bakum. There is even a channel, and I do like the channel, it's called Reform Wiki, who has grown probably 40, 50,000 in subscribers in probably a month's time, two months time, primarily using the video clips, the sermon clips of Vody Bakum. <clears throat> you got people who will sing his praises to no end. Vody Bakum this. And I can see why some people can get a little bit uh, agitated and irritated by it. It's like, man, will you stop talking about Vody Bakum? Shut I'm just kidding. I've really been looking for an opportunity to use that clip. But the truth is, I am a fan and admirer of Vody Bakum. I told you all before that though I'm newer to YouTube, I'm not new to this. I'm a Christian who happens to be on YouTube, but I'm not a Christian YouTuber. I recall uh, having a conversation with Vody Bakum uh, and my pastor's mother, we were, a, we were in a meeting with some other, with some other ministers. And one of the things that he said about, this is before his star became what it is today. He talked about why people are starting to clamor to him and why he's getting some, rec some recognition and notoriety. A lot of it had to do with the fact that here's a guy who was not someone who they thought he would be. In Texas, you've got a lot of pastors who are looking to jostle for uh, notoriety and fame to become the, the, the guy, right? And you've got all these men who have these different, these different gimmicks and these different things that they can try to do to, to get their name out there. But not Vody Bakum. Here's a man, as he says, he is a well-spoken black man, which makes him attractive. Not my words, but those are his words. And there's something to that because some of the men that were around here, they would say some things, try to put on airs, speak a certain way to try to get attention, but not him. Because one of the things that he did say, and I wholeheartedly agree, was if you just let the word speak, then that's all you need. Let God do the speaking through you. And if he wants to increase your fame, increase your star through that, that's on him. But you just do the work of, as Paul said, you do the work of an evangelist. But let me tell you the truth about Vody Bakum, And I promise you this, he would agree as well as his family would also. Vody Bakum is a man who is prone to make mistakes. Vody Bakum is a man who can sin. Vody Bakum is a man who can be selfish. Vody Bakum is a man who could probably seek his own interests and his own gains. This is no big secret. He'll tell you this. He said this before. I'm saying this because we all are like that. It's not just Vody Bakum, it's everyone else that you can think of. Why am I saying this? Well, because too often, you'll see people latching on to men of God rather than the man of God, which is Jesus Christ himself. Don't get yourself caught up in following the fame and the star of any one man because that's what, that is not what we are supposed to do. Psalm 118 and 8 says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust man. And I don't care who the man is. I don't care if it's Vody Bakum. I don't care if it's John MacArthur. I don't care if it's your favorite teacher, Tony Evans, if it's Dr. David Jeremiah or David Jeffers. I don't care who it is. If that person isn't Jesus Christ, they are not worthy of your allegiance. But like Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. And so it's okay to listen to a person and to follow what they're saying as long as it follows Christ. But what happens sometimes is if a person says something that another person disagrees with, and that person happens to be someone that you are a fan of, well, then the person that critiqued that person, even if they're right, now becomes your enemy. Remember when we were in, in kindergarten 
And if someone didn't like you, you would tell your friends, he's not our friend because we're mad at him. He's not our friend. Well, that's what kids do. Because little Bobby said something bad about Susie doesn't mean that I can't be friends with little Bobby or I can't agree with Bobby. Maybe little Susie had it coming. Maybe when you critique some of these pastors, some of these preachers, maybe they had it coming. Maybe, just maybe, they're not perfect. So while I do agree with the overwhelming majority of what Vody Bakum has to say, and while I do agree with a lot of these pastors, there's no one worth me giving 100% allegiance to. And I say this again, be careful that just because this person is someone you like, that you don't find yourself being more in leagues with him, the man, than you are with God. Amen?